The first episode of Bleach Thousand Year Blood War came out on the 10th of October 2022, which at the time of recording was yesterday. And we're going to do a quick reel of sorts of the episode. So let's get started. Just a quick heads up, we'll probably make some comparisons between the anime and the manga, and there probably won't be much of a review, and more me being gas. So yeah, this time let's actually get into it. The anime begins with Yuha talking about the Quincy poem, or reciting the Quincy poem. I don't know what's the best way to put it. And can I just say, the animation throughout the whole of the episode was so sick. Like, it was great throughout, constantly. But yeah, let's move on from that. After Yuha is done with his speech, we go straight into what happens in the manga, being Eikon and Mayuri talking about the t disappearing hollows. Then we see an overview shot of Karakura Town, and god damn, the photography shots look beautiful. And a slight change with how Rino and Shino are introduced and how Kuramulani, or Afasa, hands his position to them, or more so that they cut out the initial introduction. Of course, more appreciation for the photography shots and Bro, the hollows look scary. They are CG at certain points, but they really look good, and the CGI is barely noticeable. And then come the saviors, the Karakura squad. Orihime's Shunshunrika looks good and smooth. And then number one starts playing, and bro, I wish I could show you my reaction. But I don't want to show my face. But I was so hyped. Like, I had this massive smile plastered on my face like some idiot threw out for the whole half an hour. Half an hour because my internet sucked. <laughs> Probably more, but yeah. It was so hype and so good, man. I literally get goosebumps every time I watch it or listen to it or just even think about the moment, man. It was just so good. Orihime's powers look so good. The shield looks so fluid. And Chad, or Sado, when he hits and throws the hollows, so sick, man. Yeah, a few civilians might have been injured, uh, but come on. All of you said that he does nothing, so now he's doing something. Let him do his thing, man. Chad is, Chad is a Chad. That's, that's all. Chad is a Chad. The scene was of course extended because in the manga there wasn't much to it. Anyways, would you be skating all over the place? Like, what the fuck? And the lift of Egan and the arrows. Bro, they look so good. Aimed at each one in the hollow, of course. But it looks so good. And then comes Ichigo's turn. The way my man just stops that hollow. And then the bunker. <laughs> Ah, bro, it's gassing me up just thinking about it, man. Yeah, it's so hype. And bro, the Getsuga. Oh, don't do it to him, man. Also, the title cards for all four of them, they look sick. Then, I would like to add a massive round of applause to his media for being the most at doing their own job. Like, lads, you barely announced where Bleach was going to be airing worldwide, you barely announced America a few days before, and then worldwide barely before release. Then, then you don't even translate this? What the fuck, man? Like, it was your job to do this. Well, for all those that don't know what this is, what it roughly says, and I've used Google Translate, so bear in mind that this is not 100% credible, they wear a black kimono called Shihakusho and wield a sword called Zaubakuto. They belong to the Gojo 13, an organization that exists in the Soul Society, which is the world after death. There is a coordinator who plays, who also plays the role of adjusting the amount of souls in this world and the soul world to equalize, such as raising an existence that attacks the dead without distinction and eats soul. Although it varies depending on individuality and ability, it is based on the four methods of slashing, white hitting, walking, and rolled called Seisoki. Uh, in general, you can't see it unless you're a decent person. 
Now, the final bit doesn't make sense because it translated some of the words that we know in Japanese, but... Yeah, it was Google Translate, so I don't know what exactly it meant, but basically it's explaining what a Soul Reaper is. The bread girl arrived with loads of bread. Also, the Soul Kubo signature on the wall. Nice little Things have moved around a bit, some events occur in different order from the manga, and some events have just been cut out, but we'll see what happens with that. Then, Eburn shows up as the bread eating is ongoing. And of course, Ikyo doesn't care and just tells him to get off his bed. I love how Shino and Ryonosuke are just scared, hugging each other in the corner. <laughs> and then, as Eburn refuses to get off the bed, Ikyo kicks him and Orihime opens the door and he flies out. Or Orihime, of course, doesn't care as he, he just stuffs herself with more bread. Also, I like this moment in the manga more, you know, you can see Ohima's reaction with her opening the window and all, but that's still a pretty good moment. Bad Girl is amazing. I'm not gonna lie, the weapon Eben's Quincy Cross turns into looks kinda cool. Is that, is that a Wolfson, a Wolfson Sting? Whatever, uh, I can't even pronounce it properly, but is it that? I don't think it is, because only Quincy's I think can use that. Then we move on to Verocon Guy, but Ikaku and Yumichika are investigating the missing people of Rukangai. A small change that they made was the lightning in the background when we see Omanyan for the first time and him reacting to it being Chojiro's Bankai. And we also see how uncensored the anime will be with the head of the squad member being chopped off. Like proper chopped. Can we quickly talk about Uryu here, man? Like, man looks evil as f Like, why? I mean, I know that what happens, but still. <laughs> then there's the infamous line from Yamamoto, And then comes the Sasaki Bechojo on the verge of death. The arrow that you saw him looks good, like, really good with a constant flow of, like, energy and all. It looks sick. Like, the animation is superb. The flames of Ryujin Jaka also look fire. The, the, the pun was definitely intended there, but genuinely it looks very good. As to be expected, with the movie quality we were promised. Well, we weren't exactly promised anything, but yeah, whatever. That look from Ethan, man, it, it gets me every time, that look. Also, the chart wood looks good, the animation is truly magnificent. Then Eben chants something, if possible I'll try to get the actual translation for it. I didn't get it. One thing I still feel kind of weird about other faster movements like Old Man Yama when he moves towards Shoujo and Isho when he moves away from Eben etc. But we'll wait and see to get uh, our final opinions on it because it's still very new, so I don't know what exactly you think of it, it just feels weird. Because uh, I'm more used to the old anime style. Then comes the most hypocritical statement of all time from Yu Ha Ba. Man literally says, I dislike conflict after not only cutting a guy's arm off, but also declaring war on the Soul Society. What the? F and that is where the episode ended. After that, we got a rewind with the song Rapport by Tati Kitani. The song, if you don't know, was also used for the Bleach exhibition and also a music video in which there are loads of references to Bleach. Do check it out. I will add a link in the description for you. And that's basically it. It was a great episode and an episode after watching which I can say that those nine years I waited were worth it. It kind of got me emotional, man, not gonna lie. I was tearing up a little bit watching that rewind. I love how Wiz translated and added stuff to the song lyrics but didn't translate the mid card for some reason. <laughs> Anyways, let's not speak of that and enjoy this. I like how they're doing the bleach poems at the end of the episode, but not gonna lie, I'm gonna miss the Shinigami Encyclopedia and all those random stuff that it did at the end of the episode, but I feel like this goes well with the theme of this arc. And those uh, moments would not work as well in these uh, arcs, but they didn't when Ishio died in the fight against Kukura, so I don't know why this would be an issue, but 
I guess we moved on from that gag. But yeah, that that's about it for the first episode of Bleach Thousand Year Blood War Anime. I'll be doing videos like this hopefully every week, so I look forward to it, I guess. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you all in a new world. Peace.